Well, for more on those earnings results that we got last night from HP and Dell, I want to bring in Ted Moore. He's the portfolio manager at Fifth Third Asset Management. Ted, uh, good to have you with us and uh, kind of taking a look at these two companies the day after. Um, I want to take HP first because uh, the overhang there on the company, on the stock, is this whole of who's going to fill Mark Hurd's position. That's, that's a big deal. That created a pretty big sell-off when it was announced, which was, uh, which was cushioned a little bit by the positive pre-release that they let out the same day. And so right. the, earnings, uh, the earnings yesterday weren't a big surprise to anybody. They pretty much uh, echoed the pre-release. But I agree that that is, uh, you know, Mr. Hurd was arguably the second most respected uh, executive in the tech sector after only Steve Jobs. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that's a big deal. He really instilled a culture of uh, operational execution and cost control at HP. Right. It'll be a tough act to follow, but uh, they do have an analyst day coming up on September 28th. And, uh, you know, they replaced his predecessor in about two months. So if they could do the same timetable, that could get the stock out of limbo. Well, and the, speaking about the stock, Ted, I mean, it's gone down about 12 percent since Hurd announced that he was going to uh, resign. Uh, is that about the extent of the price action we're going to see from this? Yeah, uh, it's, it's difficult to tell. Um, I think that, you know, he added a, a considerable amount of value. If you look at uh, what the stock did relative to its peers over his term, it was considerably more than 12% uh, outperformance. Mm -hmm. So you could argue that the stock wouldn't be done yet. I think it's really going to be um, caught in a trading range until we have some resolution. It, our sense was, yes, it takes uh, a piece out of the value of the company, right. but we already believed that the company was more undervalued than that piece. So we continue to hold the shares. Oh, really? Okay. That's, that's interesting. Um, uh, Ted, I uh, want to get your, also, your sense also about HP in relation to what we saw with Intel and McAfee, because um, I know HP was also buying a security company. I think it was Fortify. Um, what does a deal like this McAfee, what does that do for a company like HP? Does that have to force them to go out and buy more acquisitions on that front? Not necessarily. Uh, I think there are different points in the chain where you instill security. It, it was a little bit of a, a curveball from my viewpoint when I saw that Intel did that. But um, you know, Cisco has been uh, installing security in their products for years. And if Intel can find a way to put it into the chip, uh, that would be impressive as well. Mm. Um, and HP, you know, as a, as a hardware vendor, um, it seems that a lot of different companies are looking to uh, improve their uh, value proposition and right. also, frankly, just take part in the excellent margins that are in, endemic in the software business. Right. They're, they're huge margins, 70 percent plus or something like that. Um, Ted, for Dell, talking about margins, shrinking there, what do you make of that? Yeah, that's a great point that you make, and I think that's why the stock uh, initially looked like it was selling off about 2% in the pre-market. Um, when you're as commodity-driven a company as Dell, you know, your margin lines are going to be looked at and scrutinized even more closely than other companies. And they came in at 17.2 on gross margins. That was about half a percent below what people were looking for. Now, the, 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 the positive in that is that it was in large part due to high component costs, which look like they're reversing. Okay. Uh, it looks like hard drives and LCD panels have come down already, so that could turn around next quarter. Right, that could be a peak then. Okay, Ted, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us.